Hello, I'm Peter Hayden. Another interesting week has passed. Let's take a look at the most noticeable events from the last seven days. Before each part, you will see some keywords and expressions that can help you better understand the stories. Today in our review, Greece strike march, Italy drug boat, Ecuador alcohol ban, Brazil saving the lion. We'll start our review with a brief digest. Our first stop is Greece, where taxi drivers took part in a strike against new taxi laws. Then we'll move to Kyrgyzstan and see the consequences of a powerful earthquake that happened on Wednesday. Also in Italy, local police intercepted two boats with almost two tons of drugs on board. And at last, we'll visit the orbit and witness the undocking of the Atlantis shuttle. Controversial reform. A reform that causes a lot of heated debates. Deregulation. To remove government rules and controls from some types of business activity. Strike. A period of time when a group of workers deliberately stop working because of a disagreement about pay, working conditions, etc. Greek taxi drivers took to the streets of Athens on Tuesday, July 19th, as thousands marched towards Parliament, calling for the government to officially end a new taxi deregulation law. The law, which came into effect on the 2nd of July, is part of the Greek government's controversial reforms as agreed with the European Union and the International Monetary Fund. Tuesday is the second day of a 48-hour strike by the taxi drivers, and some think it's going to be a tough road ahead. July is the peak tourist month for Greece, and the strike has been criticized by tourism industry officials and the Greek government. A powerful earthquake killed at least 14 people in Central Asia's densely populated Fergana Valley on Wednesday, July 20th. The Fergana Valley is a major center of cotton and silk production, and the hills above are covered by walnut forests. The quake destroyed homes in remote mountain towns, and people rushed into the streets in panic. People on either side of the border between Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan reported prolonged, violent shaking in the early hours of the morning that cracked the walls of their homes. The U.S. Geological Survey measured the quake at a magnitude 6.1. The U.S. Geological Survey placed the epicenter 18 kilometers underground, about 42 kilometers southwest of Fergana, a city in eastern Uzbekistan near the Kyrgyz border. To seize, to take hold of something suddenly using force. Smuggler, someone who takes something illegally from one country to another. Italian finance police seized 1,500 kilograms of hashish on Monday after intercepting smugglers in the Mediterranean Sea, south of the Spanish city of Malaga. Police naval units intervened after one of their planes saw two boats coming from Spain and meeting at sea. A fast, small boat was coming from Morocco. There was a transfer of boxes between the boats. Police later said the boxes contained hashish. The two boats, flying British flags, were intercepted after the rendezvous as they were sailing back towards the Spanish coast. The smugglers, Four Bulgarian citizens were arrested after a sea chase. Italian police conducted the operation in cooperation with the Spanish Guardia Civil. Outpost, a settlement on the frontier of civilization. EDT, Eastern Daylight Time, observed in the North American Eastern Time Zone during daylight. 
GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, the time as measured at Greenwich in London, and is used as an international standard for measuring time. They went to Greenwich, uh, when a generation could accomplish is a great thing. The last U.S. space shuttle departed the International Space Station on Tuesday, July 19th, ending a 12-year program to build and service the uh, orbital outpost the primary legacy of NASA's shuttle fleet. With, uh, Chris shuttle Ferguson, Atlantis, Atlantis commander Chris Ferguson point, uh, and pilot Doug the Hurley gently pulse their spaceship steering jets burn, at will be noted 2.28 uh, a.m. Ferguson ET, and Garin, who heads up U.S. orbital segment GMT, operations, to pull away from the station the as they sailed uh, about 250 uh, miles and, uh, or 400 uh, kilometers we'll see over the Pacific Ocean. During their nine-day visit to the care. station, Ferguson and his crew delivered more than five tons of food, clothing, equipment, and science experiments. A few weeks ago, the famous newspaper News of the World announced its closure. This is connected with a scandal about bribing and phone hacking. And this week, police arrested its former editor, Rebecca Brooks, as part of the investigation. Bribing. Money or a gift that you illegally give someone to persuade them to do something for you. Hacking. To secretly find a way of getting information. Rebecca Brooks, former editor of News of the World, was arrested on Sunday, July 17th, as part of an investigation into allegations of phone hacking and bribing police. Brooks, 43, has said she was unaware of allegations that the News of the World tabloid hacked thousands of phones, including that of a murdered schoolgirl. She resigned on Friday, July 15th, as chief executive of News International to try to ease pressure from the media empire of Murdoch, whose news corporation has been rocked by the crisis. Her lawyer, Dave Wilson, told Reuters that Brooks went to a London police station of her own will by pre-arranged appointment. He said she was assisting police with their inquiries and declined to comment further. News of the World, which published its final edition a week ago, is alleged to have hacked thousands of phones. We know that alcohol is bad for our health, especially when the alcohol itself is of low quality. In Ecuador, more than 20 people died from contaminated liquor. It resulted in a three-day alcohol ban throughout the country. More details right now. Booze, alcoholic drink. To suspend, to officially stop something from continuing, especially for a short time. Intoxication. Poisoning by a drug or toxic substance. Liquor, an alcoholic drink, booze. A three-day alcohol ban came into effect in Ecuador on Sunday, July 17th, after 23 people died from drinking liquor tainted with methanol. Authorities have declared a health emergency and suspended the sale and consumption of booze in the whole Andean country. Most of the victims were from the Los Rios province. There, dozens of people have been hospitalized with intoxication symptoms since last week. Hundreds more are still waiting to be examined. People lined up outside the hospital, afraid they could have been contaminated by the liquor. The homemade booze was sold in five provinces, and officials have confirmed that two people died outside Los Rios, raising the death toll to 23. The nationwide 72-hour ban could be extended until authorities manage to take out all the bottles of the dangerous liquor. The Internet's social networks allow us to keep in touch with the whole world, and that is very important in cases of emergency. For a unique example, let's see how one particular Facebook campaign helped to save the life of a young lion. A landmark treatment. Unique medical treatment. To raise funds. 
to collect money. Limping, to walk lamely, especially with irregularity. Acupuncture, treatment of pain or disease by inserting the tips of needles at specific points on the skin. The living room of a veterinarian's home in Brazil has turned into a hospital. The animal doctor started a landmark treatment of a three-year-old lion in an attempt to cure a rare autoimmune disease which paralyzed his legs about a year ago. Through an internet campaign launched on social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter, Ariel's owner Raquel Borges has been managing to raise funds to pay for his $11,000 monthly hospital bills. The 140 kilogram lion started limping over one year ago, prompting doctors to carry out a surgery. But the procedure only made things worse, and his rear legs were soon paralyzed as well. As Ariel grew weaker, Borges decided to turn to alternative methods, such as chiropractic therapy and acupuncture. According to Livia Pereria, head of the team of vets who have been treating the lion, he has so far responded well to the procedures. Nearly 60,000 people have clicked on the like button on Facebook, and hundreds of others made donations to two bank accounts linked to Borges Foundation aimed at helping abandoned animals. And now it's time for our no comment section. Here we show you some unusual and interesting videos from all over the world. So sit comfortably and enjoy yourself. Place within time through, and it was half a century ago. Many people uh, dreamed of stars and find their hope in space. This monument will not only remind everyone that... Next in our program, Germany, electric car, Japan, flying sphere, USA, Timberlake movie. Let's move on to our innovation section. Every week we see lots of new high-tech vehicles, and scientists from Munich have revealed yet another electric car. What makes it so special? Find out in our next segment. Locomotion. Movement or the ability to move. Durable. Staying in good condition for a long time, even if used a lot. Commuter. Someone who travels a long distance to work every day. The man taking this car for a spin isn't a professional driver. He's a scientist testing a prototype of an electric car. The vehicle, called the Mute, was designed by a team of specialists from around 20 departments at Munich's Technical University. They've created it to be used by commuters in the city, making its safety and efficiency key to its conception. Despite being able to carry only two passengers, the vehicle's design focuses on being economical and using green technology. It's powered up by a conventional electric motor, generating 15 kilowatts of power, which scientists say makes it efficient, inexpensive and durable. The Mute's creators also wanted to direct 100% of the car's power to its locomotion, so with that feature in mind, it has a small tank for bioethanol fuel for heating. One challenge facing the scientists was to create a lightweight vehicle. They achieved their goal by using a carbon fiber material with a car weighing around 500 kilograms, the equivalent of 1,100 pounds. For now, though, the car only exists as a prototype, but scientists are hoping to gain a slice of the auto market. 
There are many places on and beyond our planet where a human cannot go. So we create various devices that can help us to reach unknown or possibly dangerous lands. The small flying object from our next video is one such example. Rescue. To save someone or something from a situation of danger or harm. To hover. To stay in the air in one place. To negotiate. To succeed in getting past or over a difficult place on a road or path. Its developers call it the futuristic circular flying object and it's designed to go where humans can't. The unmanned aerial vehicle has been built for search and rescue operations, to fly in and out of buildings weakened by earthquakes or other natural disasters, using its onboard camera to transmit live images of whatever it sees. It can hover for up to eight minutes and fly at 60 kilometers per hour, although it does slow down for open windows. Staircases are easily negotiated by a skilled operator, and if the aircraft's lithium polymer batteries lose power, the sphere has been designed to simply roll to a stop, minimizing the risk of breakage. Fumiyuko Sato, a researcher from Japan's Ministry of Defense, invented and built the unmanned aerial vehicle from parts purchased at consumer electronics stores. It boasts eight maneuverable rudders and three gyro sensors to keep it upright and it's extremely lightweight, thanks to its carbon fiber and styrene components. Sato's invention is a prototype, but he believes it has a big future. Rob Muir, Reuters. And we'll conclude our review with some news from the world of showbiz. This summer is full of high-budget blockbusters, and between big premieres, you might enjoy some light comedy. Here's Friends with Benefits, starring Justin Timberlake. With no strings attached, without any conditions or restrictions, without limits. Script, a text for a film including dialogue and descriptions of characters and sets. I'm emotionally unavailable. I'm emotionally damaged. You know what I'm saying? Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake share some laughs and awkward, intimate, and erotic scenes for the upcoming romantic comedy Friends with Benefits. This is the first time the two actors co-starred in a film. Kunis and Timberlake are Jamie and Dylan, two newly single friends trying to stay as far away from relationships as possible. The two soon discover their sexual desires are much stronger than they are, as they start a new, strictly sexual friendship with no strings attached. Both actors agree that the comedic aspect of the film is what drew them in. Although the script was designed for both actors, they say the opportunity to take so much freedom with a role and the chance to take the story in a new direction was a plus. Yeah, bro, you're gay. Kunis and Timberlake agreed that the awkward sex scenes made the film a little more real. Always just about sex then. Friends with Benefits also features actresses Emma Stone and Patricia Clarkson. As well as comedian Andy Samberg. The film is directed by Will Gluck, who previously directed last year's summer comedy Easy A. Friends with Benefits opens in U.S. theaters July 22nd. That's all for today's edition of the Week in Review. For English Club TV, I'm Peter Hayden. All the text, videos, and tasks for the news program are available on our website. Thank you for watching the news. Stay tuned for updates.